got this card right in. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I won't bug you anymore. everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my next installment in my Roy G. Biv series. If you are new to this channel then maybe you don't know what I'm talking about but I've decided since I am a early childhood educator or a preschool teacher if you will that I was going to create a series on my channel where I take the colors of the rainbow and I give you book recommendations based off of those colors. So I recently did red which I will leave down below if you're interested in checking out but today's video will be all about orange books. I tried to pick from all different genres because if you have been on the channel for a while you know that I'm a heavily predominant thriller reader and I didn't want to give you just thrillers. So I did pick some contemporary, some thriller, and one graphic novel for you guys. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> The first orange book I have to recommend is Nice Try, Jane Sinner by Leanne Oleg. The book follows Jane Sinner who is trying to put her past behind her after she was recently expelled from her high school. She decides that she is going to start community college and while she's there she joins a reality TV show called House of Orange with five other contestants. I read this back in 2018 and to this day I still think about how funny this book was. At the time I had never read a book about a character in college and it was so refreshing to see in a YA novel. I also just found the humor to be right up my alley and the characters are all just so unique and lovable. Like each contestant just found a little special place in my heart. The book also explores a lot of heavier topics that I hadn't initially thought it would when going into it. It talks about family and friendship dynamics as well as mental illness, suicide, and faith in a very respectable and relatable way, which I, like I said, was not expecting. So if you're looking for a humorous book that explores some deeper topics, this one is definitely a great one to check out. The next book I have is my graphic novel choice. I love this graphic novel so freaking much, but it is Bubble by Jordan Morris. And this follows Morgan, who is an imp hunter. She lives in the bubble of Fairhaven. She lives with her roommate, Annie, who uses the monsters that Morgan kills in order to make drugs. So when an app called Hunter is developed, it allows Morgan to kill these monsters for cash and run her drug business on the side. I absolutely loved it. I give it five out of five stars. It is so much fun. If you have watched my videos, you know that The Adventure Zone is my all-time favorite adult graphic novel and this has the same vibes, same humor as The Adventure Zone, so I was all for it. Like The Adventure Zone, it is actually based off of a podcast, which I think is really cool. I've never actually listened to the podcast, but after reading the graphic novel, I'm definitely intrigued to check it out. The art style is very bright, very intriguing. It definitely keeps your attention throughout the whole story. It is also very fast paced and all of these characters are just so lovable. Like I honestly cannot pick a favorite because I just love them all so much. But if you are looking for an adult graphic novel with some more mature humor, I would definitely recommend Bubble. It is a grand old time. The next one I have is All Is Not Forgotten by Wendy Walker. This is definitely a more heavy thriller, so keep that in mind going into it. It doesn't look like it's very orange, but the entire back is orange, so I'm counting it for my orange book. This is the only thriller that I did include because I know you guys are sick of me talking about thrillers all the time, but this one is such a great one. This follows a girl named Jenny Kramer who was raped one night at a party and not wanting her to relive the trauma. Her parents let her undergo a drug treatment that erases her memory from that night. She is entered into therapy to allow her to work through her emotions and her inability to put her abuser behind bars. And then it also follows her parents who are also struggling with their emotions because they are not able to give their daughter the justice that she deserves. And it's like the story of that. This is a very interesting story. It is definitely gruesome and 
just a really hard read but I found it so intriguing. The choice of narrator is probably the most interesting part of this book. You don't find out who they are until a couple chapters into the book but it made it so much better in my opinion. Throughout the book you do not know who was behind Jenny's attack and it was so fun which is like a weird word to use in this sentence but it was really fun to try to figure out who it was and I had so many theories about who was responsible and they all ended up being wrong. The writing style was just so well done and there's a lot of intersecting plot lines that, that I found really interesting so if you're looking for a thriller I do recommend this but also keep in mind that it is a very heavy topic and a little bit hard to read if you're not prepared. Next up I have When Dimple Met Rishi. This is by Sandia Menon and I recently read this I believe last month actually and I ended up giving it four out of five stars. I thought it was super cute. This book follows two Indian American teens, Dimple and Rishi, who have been arranged to marry when they are older. Dimple has no idea about this, but Rishi is fully aware, and so when he introduces himself to her in a coffee shop, it kind of goes a little bit wrong. They end up being paired with one another for an app developing competition and they begin to get to know each other as the weeks progress and it's like the story of that relationship. I had very high expectations with this book because everybody loves it and I will say I was not disappointed. I did enjoy the romance although I wish that it took a little bit of a back burner seat to the app competition. If I had one complaint for the book I would want it to focus more on the competition and coding aspect because we don't have enough girls in STEM in my opinion so being able to see Dimple explore that side of her would have been way cooler than romance in my opinion. But if you are looking for a very fluffy cute romance I would recommend checking out Dimple Met Rishi because it is a lot of fun. And then last but not least, it should not come to any surprise for an orange book recommendation. It is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book follows Daisy Jones and the Six who were a band that were at their peak around the mid 70s until they broke up and they have never exclusively discussed why they broke up until now and it's like the interview of these band members and what happened to them. It was so much fun to read. I actually listened to it on audio book which I highly highly recommend if you have not picked it up on audiobook to definitely do that because it is told in interview style and all the characters have different voices and it is just such a well-produced audiobook. Honestly when you are reading this and listening to their voices it is so hard to acknowledge that this is not a real band and they are not real people that actually went through the things that they went through. I could honestly rave about this book forever and never run out of good things to say about it so like I said listen to it on the audiobook. It is so worth it and even if you don't listen to it on the audiobook I'm sure it would be equally as wonderful if you just read it physically. I honestly really do need to do a reread of it because I have not read it since 2019 and I just remember falling in love with these characters and this story so I really gotta get to it again. So if you have not read this book definitely recommend but you probably have because everybody and their mother has read this book and loved it tenfold so if you haven't though pick it up this is your sign. Alright everybody so those are the orange books that I am going to recommend for this second installment in my Roy G. Biv series. Like I said in my red video, if somebody has done this before, please let me know who it is so I can credit them because I still have not had anybody come forward and tell me that it's their idea. So I'm just gonna say that it's mine for now until somebody comes forward, but let me know down below some orange books that you've read and loved or if you have read any of these books, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!